Well, after a few weeks of YouTube not fucking up, YouTube fucked up again. Oh, sorry, no, that's swearing, I can't do that. From news about a system giving power to advertisers, screwing over the content creators that generate their money, to now some news of a system giving power to absolutely everybody else in the world, screwing over their content creators that generate their money, YouTube sure seems to like the taste of bleach with how much they want to ruin themselves. And for those of you who still don't know what I'm talking about, well, allow me to welcome back Mr. YouTube to this show, who is going to explain everything that this new announcement means to everybody. Hello everyone, I'm Mr. YouTube, speaking on behalf of all of the twerps that made YouTube heroes a reality, in which the people that are really awesome and genuinely really nice now have as much power as all of the hateful, racist, homophobic and sexist shit that make up what shouldn't be the cesspool of little constructive criticism and abuse that is the YouTube comment section. Remember, YouTube awards everybody no matter how awful you are. I mean, have you seen this video with an all-out dick in it for no reason at all? That's allowed on our site because we don't discriminate. So please just allow me to get all of my notes here as I dissect for you all today the meanings and consequences of this yet again completely sudden and completely vague system and show everyone today that it isn't actually all that bad. As you can see from this introduction here, we truly do care about our community. I don't get where the complaints are coming from so far. Looky here, because we literally can't be asked to do it ourselves, we can give you points for your unpaid, time-consuming caption and subtitle work and even sharing your thoughts with other YouTube heroes. Oh, also you can get points for reporting and flagging negative content, which is fantastic because whatever you decide is negative can actually be flagged and reported. An opinion that you don't agree with? Flag it. A naughty cunt that you don't like? I mean, I mean a naughty word that you don't like? Flag it. Somebody making a joke about God forbid their genitals? Flag it. You start from the bottom like with anything, but then you can quickly rise to the top level by level by doing really difficult stuff like being a hero and joining up with other people. We get it, your time is precious and we all understand that here at YouTube. And as you climb up the ranks, you unlock more such as learning more about the features that everyone, especially the creators, should know about. But don't tell them. And the ability to talk to other people with online video. Yes, you cannot do that anywhere else on the internet. That is fact. And this feature is specifically catered for all of those really nice and awesome lovely people in the comments that have to share all of this system with the scum of the comments that we'll also be promoting for this. And the more you do, you can then unlock super tools which our current content creators don't have and have been asking for for years, such as mass flagging videos that you just don't like because they're simply awful videos, you find them offensive, you don't like the channel because the guy that runs it has a ridiculous haircut, or because you felt like a complete bastard one day. We don't care, it's up to you. If you think a comment is a little bit too constructive or a little bit too positive, you can always get rid of them as well. YouTube wants you to love her. Look, at level four, you can even go behind the scenes to learn about new YouTube products that we secretly hide away from all of the people that have used the site for years until we just fart it into their ungrateful faces and you can even contact YouTube staff directly. I do hear that there were a few channels in the past that did try to contact YouTube directly on multiple occasions and it either didn't work, didn't help, or wasn't possible. But they don't need them really, why would they need them? They don't have real jobs! And eventually you can rise to absolute stardom as everyone in the world questions what the hell any of this was. So as you can see, this is a very open and unique system that we have here for sure, and one that unlike Twitch, doesn't even let the channels themselves dictate who could be moderators or not. Anyone can do it, not just the most trusted and best qualified moderators for that particular person. And if you are one of the really nice people in the comments that wants to do something about cleaning up YouTube, I'm afraid you will have to work alongside the absolute horrible twits that also this can apply to. And I'm not going to apologise on behalf of YouTube for that because that's just life and life isn't fair. And if you're still a little bit confused then please allow me to go through the rules in greater depth right now. For eligibility, basically don't worry, get a YouTube account and don't be a business or brand. Simple, efficient, and a little bit confusing because many of the highest sub channels on this site are actually businesses and brands and they can't do anything with this system and can't bring anything to the table even though they probably know what they're talking about but whatever. To accumulate points you need to be in compliance with all of the rules, don't violate them with improper use, don't abuse any of the system or program with inappropriate behaviour and to make sure all of this works YouTube themselves will be determining and monitoring everything. So the real question is if we already have people monitoring those who will be monitoring then why don't we just use our multi-billion dollar company to actually just use our own employees to monitor monitor our own damn website without enlisting the help of millions of other users for absolutely nothing. Ah! And by the way, if you're one of the people that are actually lovely and do a good job, we still reserve the right to change or cancel the perks at any time while keeping the system running and your work never ending. 
And everything else on the page just repeats the main vague nonsense already spoken about earlier on, apart from section D, which states again, the monitors will be monitored, completely going against our own point because don't ask us, and if you submit fake, false, misleading, or inappropriate contributions, you will be terminated from the program. Which is all lovely, but you'll also notice that we said nothing about the fact that out of our millions of users for this, someone somewhere will be offended by the dumbest thing. And luckily enough, that doesn't come under anything that you can get suspended with in the contract. So if you don't like a personality on YouTube and make up some bullshit reason, to have their videos taken down, that appears to be okay. And you also get to talk with us directly for the privilege. So you know what, yet again, I think it's actually personally very fantastic how YouTube have stepped up yet again and allowed this system to suddenly arrive with no warning and no preparation for channels with benefits that channels actually do need and have needed for a long time and instead we're just going to give them all to the awful members of the comment section and we're not going to pay you for it. Another round of applause? Yeah, I, I, I honestly think that like, YouTube deserves another round of applause. That's two times in the space of a couple of weeks. Like, two rounds of applause in the space of a couple of weeks. It's fantastic. I think YouTube are really on a roll with this new system. Oh wait, the like and dislike ratio of the announcement video is absolutely appalling and because of the backlash, YouTube themselves couldn't even face the commenters that they will apparently be rewarding when they sign up for this system and so disabled all the comments because they don't know what else to do with their own audience. You know what, being a YouTube hero myself, I find this very offensive, so I'm just going to flag this video.